In this problem, an existing sewer pipe with an elliptical cross section measuring 19 inches in vertical depth by 30 inches in horizontal width is scheduled for replacement. To maintain hydraulic equivalency, the diameter in inches of the replacement circular concrete pipe that will most nearly convey the same flow under full flow conditions is 18 inches, 24 inches, 32 inches, or 48 inches. So this is a simple problem that may even be too easy for the PE, but it's one that I think is important to remember how to solve for, uh, for anyone who hasn't thought about it in a while. So we're being asked to find the equivalent size circular pipe to replace an existing elliptical one. All we have to do is set an equation for an ellipse equal to the equation of a circle. If we search ellipse in the reference manual, we can see that the equation is just area equals pi times a times b. The only thing to note is that terms a and b refer to the semi-major and semi-minor axes rather than their full lengths. So in this case, a is going to be equal to half of the width and b is going to be equal to half of the height. All we have to do now is plug in the equation of the ellipse equal to the equation of the circle and solve. So pi times a times b equals, if you need the equation of a circle, it's right underneath section 1.3.7.3 in 1.3.7.4. It's pi d squared over four. And substituting these terms, we can see this is going to be w over 2 and b is going to be h over 2 and that's still going to be equal to pi d squared over 4 and finally we can plug in our knowns from the equation so our width is 30 inches so we're going to say pi times 30 inches over 2 times the height of 19 inches over 2 equals pi d squared over 4. And if we want to simplify this even more, we could cross out 4, 2, 2, pi, and pi, leaving us with just 30 inches times 19 inches equals d squared. d will solve out to about 23.87 inches, which is closest to our answer of 24 over here on the left. If you forget to use the semi-major axis and instead keep with terms A and B, you will accidentally calculate out closer to 48 inches. So that's basically the only thing you have to keep, keep in mind here. So yeah, this is a quick problem just meant to remind you of some fundamentals. And that's it.